Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in Singapore actually I'm at the airport right now but I'm going to be leaving uh, you guys saw the video probably two days ago and I got stuck in Singapore by accident and I have officially gotten a ticket so I'm gonna be heading over to Istanbul gotta fly to Abu Dhabi first got like a nine hour layover throughout the night so I'm gonna be exhausted and then a quick little flight from Abu Dhabi over to Istanbul and uh, yeah Honestly, it feels good because I felt like so trapped here. Uh, like it was cool to check out Singapore and honestly, like if it would have ended up being like I, you know, need to stay for a few more days, it would have been fun. But uh, I had my eyes on getting to Istanbul and starting to shoot some content. So super excited for that. And uh, yeah, I paid about like 450 for the flight and I booked it like six hours ago. So not bad to travel all the way across the world with Etihad. And uh, I think I have middle seats the whole way though. So it's not gonna be the most comfortable ride, but uh, hey. You know, beggars can't be choosers when uh, you're just trying to get on the flight. So yeah, guys, I'm walking through uh, the Changi Airport right now. And um, yeah, this airport uh, is really well known. It's like one of the biggest, one of the most like um, exquisite, but I didn't get it to make it to the part of the airport that's like super well known. So I just didn't have enough time before the flight, but that's all right, that's all right. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see if I can locate a lounge. I'll show you the lounge we're staying at and then we'll get on, we'll get this trip started. Wow, that's one thing I've never seen in an airport. There's literally uh, fish swimming around right there. But yeah, guys, I am en route over to the other gate, which I think is this way. I never actually made it to the uh, lounge because I was chasing Wi-Fi. That's why I have like no more vlog updates in between like what just happened like two hours ago. But let me just double check that I didn't leave anything. Guys, I'm literally so lucky. I just had this feeling like I left something and I went back over and my glasses were just sitting there. Oh, I mean, they're only worth like $2, but I still love the glasses. They're the signature glasses, so don't want to lose them. Anyways, it is time to head over to the gate. Then Abu Dhabi's flight number one. I'm not sure how much filming I'm going to do on the plane because if I'm middle seat, like it's honestly, it's so hard to vlog and like also be comfortable at the same time. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. But you've probably had enough of airport videos over the last, you know, uh, probably 10 videos you've seen. There's been two out of them that are airport videos, so... Don't want to do too many of them. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Good evening. All right, here we go. Flight number one of two. 21 hour journey to get to uh, Istanbul. So it's going to be a long ride, but I actually haven't looked at my seat. I'm just assuming that I have middle seat, but I would say 35J and 56D. That sounds pretty middle to me. Yeah, they we're not joking when they said it's going to be a full flight. And I've got middle, I just checked. Jay is the middle, so it'll be a long one, but uh, here we go. Well, guys, this is the uh, flight here. As I guessed, I got the middle seat, but uh, that's all right. I'm not going to share too much with you, so as soon as I touch the screen, I'm going to be in Abu Dhabi. And boom, guys, seven hours down. We have made it to two, Abu Dhabi. Don't be surprised. Don't be confused. I'm not energetic right now. I just worked my energy up to uh, get excited, but glad to be halfway done with the trip. Now I got nine hours to burn here in the airport. So I'm not entirely certain what I'm gonna do. Probably sleep on the floor somewhere. And then after that, one more flight to Istanbul. So I'll take you with to the airport. But I don't think there's that anything that are gonna keep us entertained tonight. Just a nice floor, comfortable floor to pass out on. So I'm here in the uh, Abu Dhabi airport. I must say it's a really interesting design. Like, look at the ceiling. It's like, I've never seen one like this. It's like a massive mosaic all the way around the airport. And it's kind of like in a circular shape. And then you like look down there, there are passageways that get down to the gates. But like the center area, you have like charging spots over there. Like kind of shops, I guess, going around this entire circle. Currency exchanges, pharmacies. Yeah, it's a cool layout, but I think because the ceilings are so low, it makes it feel like it's a smaller airport than it actually is. So that's uh, definitely a unique thing. Guys, when I'm taking my hand off this camera, I'm fast forwarding to the morning. So I didn't fill you in, but I hung out at the Abu Dhabi airport, like where I showed you last. And then at like 1 a.m. I was like, oh, let me see if there's an airport hotel because I didn't have my next flight until 9.30. So I was able to find this one called Premier Inn right down the road actually and the nice part is it's so close to terminal three that i was able to walk here i didn't have to pay any extra money for a taxi and i walked i think it's about a seven minute walk to the terminal so a short little walk there's sidewalks that bring you all the way there 
and uh, it was yeah fifty seven dollars. I didn't do much of a room tour. It was a very small room, but I got the job done, and I was able to get some sleep. So at least I'll be able to arrive to Turkey like with a little bit more energy. Because when I was at the Abu Dhabi airport, I was looking for a place where I could just like sleep on the ground, but there wasn't really too many spots, at least in the terminal that I was in. So I'm glad I did that. Now I'm gonna walk back over to the terminal, guys, and uh, the journey continues. I think we are finally gonna make it to Turkey after uh, a fun journey the last couple of days for those of you guys who have been following along from originally going somewhere in Indonesia to then Korea to then flew to Singapore to figure out another destination had a bunch of different options on my mind and then I was like all right Turkey's gonna be the spot so let's go and here we are guys coming up on the Abu Dhabi airport another hot place to be in this time of the year guys that desert feel but it's a smaller airport honestly than I imagined or at least this terminal I think this is the whole set right over here, but I'm not entirely certain. So let's go get checked in. Actually, I'm already checked in. That's the nice part. Just got to go through security and customs. And then we got another hour and a half to burn before we uh, hop on the flight. Guys, now that I'm back in the uh, airport, I'm realizing, I guess there's a long hallway that could have brought us all the way there. It says Sky Park Plaza. I'm seeing the Premier Inn on that sign. So I'm kind of like retracing my steps, except now through the hallway. I walked outside all the way to get here. So something to know you might be able to walk inside all the way there which means ac yes all right guys i'm inside the uh terminal of the abu dhabi airport basically you got food all around the top of this area very modern design and layout all over and then on this first floor you got jewelry shops you got the duty free stuff so pretty uh standard what you find in airports but you know definitely very luxurious and a cool spot but now it's time to head to the gate the last stop is the last transfer is Abu Dhabi to Istanbul, so let's do this. All right, I will say, now that I'm walking through uh, this area of the airport, it's much larger than the part that I walked through yesterday. So I guess there are a lot of places to lay down. Just the terminal or the part that I was in was not the spot. You're going to find all the extra space, so that makes a lot of sense. Because like I told you earlier, I thought Abu Dhabi is a bigger airport. And this makes a lot of sense. Like, these hallways stretch so far down, but it seems like you probably can't enter these areas until like a certain time before your flight so it's not like i probably would have been able to hang out in that area um until like a couple hours before so still happy i went to the airport hotel just because i feel that much more refreshed oh all right here we go all right here we go istanbul bound all right we're loading on the bus and then heading over and here it is guys this is the flight we're going to be taking the flight not as full as the flight from singapore to uh, abu dhabi but, uh, let's see, am I going to be in the middle seat again? Let's see. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, there we go. Good news is I'm on the inside aisle, so I don't have to have another window seat for the last flight. Thank goodness. All right. Found my spot. 56D. Pretty much at the very back of the plane. I'm not going to even be hopeful that I'm going to get all these seats to myself, but if I do, that would be a very lucky day. Uh, I think about three and a half hours, and then we are to Istanbul. And the fun begins, guys. We're going to be doing so much the next few days in Istanbul. And there we go, guys. From Abu Dhabi to Istanbul. It's about a four-hour flight. So we will see you once we get over to Istanbul. All right, guys. We have made it to Istanbul. Thank you so much. It was a great flight. Yeah. What was your name? Joy. Joy. I'm going to follow you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Shane, I'm going to give you a call on the uh, WhatsApp later, yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, would love to. All right, well, count me in. I'll shoot you a message once I connect the Wi-Fi. All right, guys, we are heading into the airport. Now, I'm gonna grab the bag. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Now you're in the vlog. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. I met a bunch of the uh, airline attendants when I went to the back because they saw me filming. All right, guys, we are officially off the plane now. I always, whenever I get to the Istanbul airport, I've never been to Turkey, I've never been to Istanbul, but I have been to the airport a couple times. And I'm always so like shocked at how big this airport is. Cause like every time I come here, I feel like I've gotten dropped in a different part. And I've literally been walking down this way for, I don't know, probably like five or six minutes. And I'm a pretty fast walker. Just goes to show you how many flights are coming in and out and how big of an airport they need to have to uh, keep up with it all. So time to head to customs. We'll see you on the other side. All right, we're heading over to, uh, Carousel number 17. The last time I checked the bag, I was on my way from India to Paris and I lost my luggage. So 
hopefully this time checking my bag will be a better experience. But anytime I have a super long layover in between um, flights, that's when I always get nervous. And I had a nine hour layover in Abu Dhabi, as you guys know, so we shall see. I believe 17 is right up here and let's hope the bag's there. Bag, I think this might be the bag. Let's hope. Uh, nope, not mine. It looked very similar to it. It's my bag, let's see here. And, oh yeah, it has arrived, thank God. Well, I can tell you one thing. I am happy this bag made it. I've been standing here for like 30 minutes, so I was starting to uh, think that I might not be coming. But uh, let me just double check. My name's on there. It looks like that's mine. Oh, we got a mask hanging out of there. That's definitely gotta be mine. All right, perfect. Time to head out. All right, we're officially out of here. And the nice part is right when you walk out in to the Istanbul airport, you have pretty much everything you need. We've got SIM cards over here, we've got taxis. I think I saw some currency exchange shops back that way. So we're gonna go over to Vodafone, see if we can get ourselves a SIM card here. I'm not sure which one of these are the best companies. We've got Vodafone, we've got Turk Telecom. So I'm more familiar with Vodafone, so that's what we'll go with. I'll see you on the other side. All right guys, so I just got a uh, SIM card here and let me just tell you what the price was at Vodafone, so I got 20 gigs for, I think it lasts a month, and then I've got some calling built into there, and it was 550 Turkish Lira, which is $34. So it's definitely the most expensive SIM card that I've purchased in a long time. Like that's right up there with uh, maybe slightly less than US prices. Yeah, slightly, probably about half the cost. Eh, honestly, almost competitive to US prices. So yeah, that's what you get when you buy a SIM card at the airport though. Like honestly, they're always gonna be more expensive. But uh, honestly, I wanted to have the data before I went into the town because I don't know which mode of transportation I'm gonna take yet. Maybe taxi, maybe I'll take the uh, a train. I don't know if there's a train, but I'll let you guys know here in just a moment. All right, let's see what it's like right when we walk out. It's pretty busy, but it's a modern modern place to walk out into. And honestly, this is such a relief after being in Southeast Asia the last couple months. It is a perfect temperature outside. So this is gonna be so nice for exploring. But, uh, Let's head out, find a taxi, and do this. All right, guys, I've been told that uh, sometimes you can get ripped off by Turkey, so I'm gonna go to the uh, Istanbul airport taxi stand, and I'm gonna reserve a taxi there, and uh, then I should be able to get like a set price for it. Uh, do I need to prepay? Uh, do I prepay the taxi? Prepay? Yes, yes, no problem. Hello. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, the location, city center. One foot. Uh, uh, Legacy Ottoman Hotel. Legacy Ottoman. All right, guys, we have uh, made it to Turkey officially, and I'm excited to be here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna be cruising. Uh, I think it's like 33 kilometers away. And once we arrive there, guys, we have a hotel we're gonna be checking into. I found a really nice one that's based on what I read, like staying in the city center is the best place to stay if it's your first time in Istanbul. Hello, Istanbul, it's been a while. Just kidding, guys, it is my first time here. Wow, does it feel good to be here? Guys, we're just about arriving there. Let me tell you this, it is exciting to be here. Like this place has so much energy. Everyone's out on the streets. It is a Sunday today, so it makes sense that everyone's out exploring. But, uh, this is gonna be a fun trip, I can already tell. I'll pay with credit card? Yeah, I'm on the ice. Thank you. All right, well, I learned something that apparently American cards don't work to pay for the cab, so I had to use like pretty much all the cash that I just took out. And the ride was 360, and he's like, uh, 400, 400, and they gave me 10 back. And I was just, he only spoke Turkish, so I just let that one go. But I was like, ah, all right. To be fair, when he was backing in there, he did uh, crash into, like one of those little like curb stoppers right over there. 
so I guess, uh, you know, give him a little tip, he probably deserved it. But yeah, guys, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, and um, I've got a lot of videos that'll be coming out here in Turkey, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.